We want to talk about copy trading. That's the question. Too good to be true. But first of all, we want to see、uh, the today's agenda. We want to talk about four special topics or questions. Can you copy and paste your way to success? What are the pros and cons of copy trading? What are some different copy trading methods, and how to use copy trading to your advantage? And please, again, I see a lot of names here, and、uh, it's really, really great thing. If you have questions, feel free to share your mind with me, to share your questions with me. You know, this is my private opinion. There is the biggest secret in trading is there doesn't exist a secret. But、uh, the real challenge is taking place in your mind, of course. And、um, copy trading is a wonderful topic, and、uh, I guess we should talk about that a little bit. Okay, so this is me. That's not really important. I have more than twenty years' experience right now. I'm a trader, coach, mentor, and speaker, and my focus is on personal development, accompanying with trading, cause. Both things are belongs together. Belong together. That's、uh, our wonderful colleagues and partners from Admiral Markets. This is my forex and CFD broker with over eight thousand financial instruments in more than twenty countries around the world. We are licensed、uh, about FCA, FCA, EFSA, SISEC, and ASEC, and we have really really good spreads. Typically, zero point six for US Euro USD. And 0.8 pips for the Dex 30. Of course, we use MetaTrader 4 and 5. Okay, let's do it and talk about can you copy and paste success? So basically, and let me give you this this humble advice: take a pen and take a paper. And write your thoughts a little bit down. They're crossing your mind. You, I talk about these topics, and you, you can see the slides. Cause I know it by myself. After such a webinar, I remember. Oh, there was a question. What does? What? What was it again? Oh, I, I didn't. I forgot. So this is too. This is too bad. Cause the topic is too important that you will forget something. So type it. Or write it down on your own paper, and of course, after the webinar, I am available in our trading spotlight community on Traders Yard. So, if you have any questions, they are crossing your mind, they're driving you crazy, or they they're driving you in your mind, then let me know in our wonderful community. So let's make clear what the dictionary says about copy trading. Copy trading enables traders in the financial markets to automatically copy positions opened and managed by a selected investor, usually in the context of a social trading network. So I don't know how many times you are engaged in trading right now. Maybe a couple of months, maybe a couple of years. Maybe you are an experienced trader or a beginner. But I guess everybody of you heard already about copy trading. Around the world, there are so many offers. You can follow some wonderful, amazing guys around the world, and I guess you can learn a lot of things about that. And that's really good, guys. But In Germany, we would say we have a lot of black sheep in the、uh, in this industry, and I don't know if you have the same term in your language. But in Germany, we say black sheep. What do I mean when I say black sheep? That not bad people, not at all. Of course not. No one is bad at itself. It's just my awareness, my reality. If I think one、uh, person is bad, so but. Um, really, less guys、um, are interested on you. On you, they are interested to give you some offers about some、um, technical issues, or maybe、uh, software or something else, and they will 
offer you that you can follow them by the traits that you can copy and paste. So the real meaning, the real meaning of copy trading is you follow an unknown or maybe you know him or her and well-known trader and copy his or her traits. So maybe we have, we don't have, we don't only have um, male guys around. We have a lot of female uh, uh, traders around the world. They are really, really good and you can follow them. But most of the times, if you, for especially, we will talk about a little bit later about uh, uh, eToro, for example, you don't know these traders. You don't know that person. And I guess mm, this is a really, really a little bit difficult. So trading is a really personal thing. It's about my money. I work for my money. And if I give it out, and if I follow an unknown person, I'm feeling not really comfortable. I don't know how you feel, and I don't know how many experience do you have with copy and paste. So this is a, a topic in general. So basically, copy trading aims to copy and paste another trader's success. Please do me the favor. And I hope you sit really comfortable in your chair right now. And um, I want that you uh, do something for me. Please, for just a couple of seconds, close your eyes. Come down and think about this sentence. Can you copy an other one's success? Think it a little bit. Close your eyes and think about it. You are an amazing guy. You are wonderful. You are maybe the one and only chosen one. But can you copy an other one's success? So open your eyes again. And now you can think about, is it really possible? And everything what I'm going to tell you through the slides is just only my private opinion, not in general. So this is a special of my awareness. It's just of my reality. So this is the real meaning of uh, copy and paste. You follow another one and you try to copy uh, the traits and you hope, and this is the basically hope and a wish of course, to, of copy and paste that you don't think about it, that you free from emotional impacts. This is most of the times the, the, the basement or the foundation of copy and paste. But this is the real question you should think about. Can you really copy and paste and other traders success? And in my opinion, it's not depending from success. It's, it's in general, it's a question of business at all. Whatever kind of business you have, and you look another one, is it possible to make only copy and paste another one's success without you do nothing, just only press a button? Would that be possible? Everybody would be rich like Warren Buffett or George Soros or Bill Gates, or a lot of other guys around the world. But seemingly, it is not possible. Please keep that in your minds. This is one of the crucial and most important points in general, not only about trading, 
it's uh, basically just a little bit um, background information. I um, visited last weekend in Cologne here in Germany, a big, big event. It was uh, about personal development. We had almost 10 speeches over six hours. It was 50, there were 15,000 people in the Lanxess arena, 15,000 people. And it was amazing. Because I realized our churches, where you're praying to our Lord, are empty. But these locations are full, full of people. They are looking for any kind of success. But all of us, we know 98% of all the people driving home and don't know what they have to do because they hoped to make copy and paste to listen to the guys to admire them on the stage on the stage great great speeches and they hope they can make only this one and they are successful as well without any efforts but is that possible I guess this is a kind of logical understanding. It's of course not. Otherwise, all of us were successful already, right? Keep that in your mind, please. What are the pros of copy trading? There are a lot of pros of copy trading. So first, of course, you don't need an education. Why? You don't need copy and paste. You can connect your accounts to another one. They press the button and it will connect it to your trading approach, to your trading account. So you don't need anything. No education. You don't, uh, no insights needed about trading or fundamental information because you think, oh, it's easy. Trading, oh, copy and paste. Hmm, I don't need to spend my time for that. Push the button, connect, and everything is fine. Just follow and see what happens. So basically, really easy system to be a part of the great game of trading, forex, shares, commodities, futures, whatever. So without being self-involved in that business. This is so good news. That's a really good news, right? It's so easy. You can go to your work, you can sit in the park, you can spend time with your family and another one make the job for you. And you getting rich without doing anything. This is a really easy system. Less time and effort needed. That's the seemly pros of copy trading. Let's some again, no education needed, no insights about fundamental or trading as, uh, at all. Just follow, see what happens. It's really easy. You don't need to be self-involved in a trading business. You don't need too much time to, to spend with that stuff. And of course, no effort. No effort. Let me ask you this again, especially the last point, less time and effort needed. Do you really think this is possible to become successful in your life without spending time, without spending some efforts? I don't know. How many hours do you have to work for your job to get your salary to the end of the month? How many hours? In Germany, we used to work eight hours. I work for my job, for my own business, around about 12, 14 hours a day. But I love my job because I love to work with people, not traders. I love to work with people. But normally, in a normal job, you used to work right 
around eight hours a day, maybe 12. Maybe in USA or in Asia or in Africa or something, you have to work a lot of hours more. And then you know you get some salary for that. You have your income. But do you think in trading is differently? Do you really think you can spend less time and almost no effort to become successful? But this is the marketing. This is advertisement. Copy and paste, follow us, you're getting rich. You have to do nothing for your success. Please, guys, don't let you blend about that advertisement. Please, do it not. Please, think about it. It's a logical thought. It cannot really work. And I will explain why it doesn't work. But that's the seemly pros of copy trading. So what's on the other side? What's the cons? The same points, no education needed. But how will you understand what is happening in the market? Included the next point, what's about losses? What's about the drawdown phase? And we don't want to talk about risk and managing risk. So if I have your attention right now, and if you focus on me and what I'm, what I'm trying to tell you, then you can follow my thoughts, of course. Yes, there's no education needed in copy and paste. But what is, or, the, or what if, if you create losses, or losses in a row. If you follow Paul, Jens, and myself, you heard a lot of times there doesn't exist a 100% approach in trading. Losses are a part of that game. But if you don't understand why, how will you rise up uh, in trust to that guy? So imagine you follow some guys or you follow a really well-known trader and this guy make a loss. Okay, that's no problem. There's the same loss you have on your account, same loss. And you come home from your job and you look in your account and you see, oh, what the, what the hell is going on? I have a loss. And your intention, why you open such a copy and paste account is to make money. But if you have no insights, if you have no education about trading or this industry at all, you will ask yourself what's going on. I opened this account to make money and now I got a loss. So then your mind is going crazy and you ask yourself, what should I do now? But this is if you have one loss. So everybody knows in every approach, you have a drawdown phase. What does it mean when I'm talking about a drawdown phase? A drawdown phase means you have one, two, three, four, five losses in a row. That's the question of the big numbers. And if you Google the turtle traders, there exists a report about the turtle traders after, and now listen, after they had 70, not 17, 70% of losses, 70% of drawdown phase. The turtle traders, one of the best, well-known and most successful traders up to today, till today, trend following system. One of the best trading approaches ever and up to today, one of the most successful traders ever but they had once a time 70, 70% 70 drawdown phase. 
in a normal approach, either statistics system, trend following, breakout, moving averages, whatever you do, you can trade about the sun, the sun, the moon, and the stars, if you want, or the mood about your wife, whatever, you can trade whatever you want, you will have a drawdown phase. And then the most, and in the strongest trading approaches, it's normal that you have a drawdown phase of around 20%, between 16, 18, 20%, sometimes 30, 30%. It's completely normal, guys. It's completely normal. It's part of the game. But if you don't understand why, I promise you, you will cut this account. I promise you, you will get crazy. You will, because you cannot understand and your intention to open such an account was to make money and then you lose money. And if you don't understand why, or if you don't understand what is going on with that guy, why did he make such a losses? You will cut this account and this copy trading. Or the worst case, you're looking for another one. Okay, let's play around. Let's play it out. This uh, this idea, you make losses and you say, okay, stupid guy, that's too bad. I'm looking for another one. Okay, then you make copy and paste another one guy, another one trades. So then you will get one, two, three, four winners. But you know, losses are a part of the game. And if you, if the other one guy is falling down in a drawdown phase, you will make losses again. And promise me, you will never, 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 ever get in the real, real profit. That's part of the game. How, uh, who is earning money? The guy you follow, because he gets your money. He gets income because you have to pay that you may follow him don't forget that and never forget the fees the costs of every trade so how you should manage your risk and if you have no insights if you know if you have no understanding of this copy and paste you have in your mind i want to get rich very very quick so you rise up your risk. And believe me, I know a lot of guys that lost everything on your account by copy and paste because they raised up their risk because they believed to get rich very, very quick. They really thought it's easy, copy, paste, follow, copy another one's success but it's not possible, of course not. It's completely against the nature of life, against the nature of our universe. Of course, it doesn't work. Then the next question, which trader you should follow? Which one? Okay, now maybe you know Jens, Paul and me, but that three of us, millions and millions and thousands of offers around the world. Make an example, open Google and type in copy paste trading. Or maybe type in trading coach. Or maybe type in trading. You will uh, beat with millions of offers. There exists almost thousands and thousands of offers of trading coaches you can follow. So which one? Really? Do you really think it's so easy to make success or to make so you make profit or you make money in the market? Really? Please, calm down. Think logically, please. If it would be possible, everyone would do it. And if it would be possible, 
Do you really think we would spend our time together this afternoon? Really? I guess not. It's not really, it's not difficult. Open your mind. Think logically. If you follow the number one, and now it's a really interesting topic. If you follow the number one, in a list of traders, have you ever thought about he reached that place? How did he manage his risk? How many numbers of trades did he make? Which markets he trades? Is your account big enough to follow him, et cetera, et cetera? And now let me explain this part. If you have such a list and every trader you can follow around the world, which works with such copy and paste social media, uh, uh, social media stuff, they are listed in a number of lists, number one, number two, number three. You can see the name, you can see the markets, you can see how much profit he make in percent and in money and so on. But think about now, really logically guys, really, really logically. How did he reach this number one? Do you know that? Did he make a lot of risk? Did he make, uh, or did he have a really big, a huge amount or account? which market he trades and can you trade this market as well maybe futures if you have one thousand dollars on your account you cannot trade futures it's not possible and of course this guy on place number one must be in a real good mood and he must be in an up phase of trading but you know in every approach, in every trading setup, the next loss will come. The next drawdown phase will come. And if you look at these numbers, they always change. One time this is number one, next week the other one is number one. And over next week, next another one is number one. Which one you should follow? And this is the part why only the company makes money and why most of the times, most of the time, not, not always, but most of the times, the guy who offers the trading, you can copy, they make money and they make a lot of money with your money. They are not interested in you. They are only interested on in huge amounts that you follow them that you co make copy and paste. Thank you. You have through, I can testify every year word. Thank you very much. So I guess you have a little bit experience about that. Believe me, I don't want to blame the guys. They are wonderful guys, but I want from the bottom of my heart that you know and you, that you think about logically about that point. Would that be so easy? Everybody would do it. And everybody would make a lot of money in the markets. But I don't know anyone who ever make a really, really big or huge amount or huge money in the market by copy and paste. Of course not. And I'm engaged in this trading business since 20 years right now. It's not possible. So about this last point here in this slide, do you know how this guy reached the place number one? He must be in an up phase of his trading approach. And there will come that day he will make losses. And the day would be come, or I would, uh, I would say, um, Yes, um, they are changeable. Wikifolio or eToro. I, a little bit later, uh, Balaram, we, uh, we talk about the, the companies. But the company is not interesting. It's basically the point copy and paste. 
it's just only in general. And I would never blame some uh, a company or some guys. Every, everything is possible. And that's the good thing, that's the good news. You can do whatever you want in trading because you create your own reality. And it's possible that, and it's absolutely allowed that you can make your own experience. I only want to share my experience with you and all, everything I say is just only my private opinion. And of course, I would never say what you have to do. I want that you think about, I have enough, or I would say it's enough that you waste your lifetime. It's enough that you spend money for senseless things that never work. And copy and paste never works, never, as long as you don't understand what's happening in the market. And believe me, the guy is placed, which, which is placed on number one, he will have the next drawdown phase. And what are you doing then if you don't understand what's going on? So, uh, no apologize, no reason, Plumif, no reason. If I'm copying a deal, do I go in with the same volume as the one I'm copying? Um, in most of the cases, you can, uh, you can uh, set your risk by yourself. My, maybe the guy you copy, he have a risk of 1%, or maybe he is working with one lot. So in most of the cases, it's depending on your account size. So you can reduce your own risk and you can say, okay, I want to risk one mini lot, for example. This is not a problem. So you can, uh, you can uh, make your risk, um, you can make your risk by yourself. That's not a problem. But be aware of that. It's just only the cons on the side. You, thought you should think about it because you will have your losses. And there's no difference if you have a loss with one, with one mini lot or with a lot depending on your account size. But in normal case, with a good company, with a good copy and paste company, you can set your risk by yourself. Some Wikifolios are really good in terms of investing but not trading. Yes, that's the point. And this is interesting. In the long term, the time is on your side. And I often tell you that day trading on a statistically, it's statistically proven not profitable. The most money is made on long runs, on swing trading. And if you follow my trades uh, in the trading spotlight community, you can see yesterday or this night, we finished the next trade Euro USD with 100 and 185 pips. This is enough guys. For that, I don't need any day trades. But in investing, yes, really good terms. I completely agree with you, but really not on trading. So let's talk about different uh, copy trading methods. So first method, you work with a coach. That's the easier thing. Highly possible, you know the coach personally and the coach knows you. For example, you work with me. I'm a coach, I'm a trading and life coach. I think these things belongs together. So therefore, I teach you trading and I teach you how it works with your life. A good coach, and this is my absolutely very private opinion, is not only interested in you as a trader, is interested in you as a human person. And if I would be your coach, I'm interested in you as a man or as a woman, as a husband, as a wife, as a boyfriend or, boy or girlfriend. First of all, I am interested on you because my private opinion, and this is my experience, only if you're stable as a human, you can be successful as a trader. But if you are struggling in your life and in your mind, you cannot be successful in trading that doesn't work. Otherwise, 
we wouldn't have this huge number of failing persons of almost more than almost 80% that loses money in the market. So if you copy and paste the trades of your coach, you know what you have to do because most of those trades get explained. So you can compare it with our trading spotlight community. Paul is explaining his trades. Jens is, expa is explaining his trades. I explain you all my trades in this wonderful community. So you can copy and paste and you know what you have to do. Because I'm, as your coach, I explain you. You will learn and rise up in your private or trading knowledge. And of course, hmm, here we are. Good coaches are not free. But in the long run, you will earn more money than you spend for a coaching. Believe me, I have coaching offers um, on my homepage. You can, uh, you can have one coaching hour by me. You can have five. You can have, what I did I write on my wall? You can have four hours, 12 hours, and 40, 24 hours. But it isn't free because I have to spend my lifetime with you as well. But it's private coaching. I catch you and pick you up where we are you right now. And then we can go together into the future. I can promise you the journey you will start with such a coach, with such a kind of coaching, it's amazing. Absolutely amazing. You will learn so many things if you look behind the scenes. So, but you have to spend a little bit money to get a private coach. But um, I guess in my private opinion, it's the best method ever. Or the second possible method working with copy trade like Wikifolio or, y, or for example, eToro. Impersonal method of trading. No one is interested on you as a human, no one. Limitless traders you can copy and paste over at eToro, over three millions. So it's easy to follow by copying and pasting. Social network is possible. You can question, you can, question, you can uh, ask a question, whatever you want. But there's a question sign in, my, in this point. Is it a real advantage? Or are too many opinions overwhelming? This is my own experience. If you have too many, if you have too much information, this one is crying short. This one is crying long. The next one is, is crying sell the sideline at the same market. Maybe this is a really bit overwhelming. So is social network really an advantage? So focus on pure trades. No focus on personal growth. But this personal growth is absolutely necessary for every kind of success. Not only trading, for every kind of success. Which business you will ever rise up, there is no success without, without personal development. And for that, for that, you need a coach. How can you use now trading for your, or copy trading for your advantage? So first of all, you have to choose between these two methods of copy trading. With a real coach or with social trading broker like eToro. Oh, Wikifolio, thank you, Baron. Baron, sorry. As long as you understand how the trades work, copy trading could be an interesting learning experience with potentially lower risk and higher returns. Could be. There's no guarantee. Could be. The real advantage of copy trading is the time factor. You don't need to invest valuable time because your coach or the broker or the guy who make the trades for you will do the analysis for you. But think about the cons I told you. If you choose a broker like eToro, you can choose between a lot of different trades, setups, market approaches. In my opinion, overwhelming, absolutely overwhelming. Copy trading can also help if you diversity your account. So I guess we have 
We talked about the most important topics and let's make a conclusion at the end. Copy trading is a very easy trading a strategy to make money in the markets. Could be. Be aware of that. Could be. You can choose between copy trading by a coach or by a broker or a Toro, for example. But you have to choose between a personal process or a very impersonal process. No one at a broker or a Toro is interested in you as a human if you lose money. If you struggle, if you're fighting, if you fight with your woman, with your girlfriend, because you, uh, you lost money. There is no education on personal growth by a broker. And copy trading brings you some advantages, but challenges as well. Less time, less time. No efforts, no efforts. With the consequences. My personal advice, take a coach and learn how to trade successfully. It doesn't uh, it doesn't take too much time, maybe six months, maybe one year, but then you have the big, big chance to make money. So this is my personal advice. Take a coach for a special uh, time or for a certain time. And I promise you, you will learn so much more than by copy and paste. So therefore, if you want to follow Jens, Paul and me in this trading spotlight community, go on Traders Yard. We would be pleased and uh, it would be a great pleasure if you follow us there, you can, you can answer, you can uh, ask all your questions there. You will get an answer always. The only requirement, open life account at Admiral Marcus and deposit some money on it. And then you can follow us there. And if you want to have a private coaching, ask one of us guys. So next week or on Friday, sorry, Jens is talking about the developed trading plan for the next uh, economic crisis. And you see the questions here. And I hope you will uh, join this webinar as well and uh, give the honor to Jens that you can follow him. Uh, in his webinar Friday, two o'clock in the evening on uh, same space, same time. If you have any questions, Admiral Markets there for you, always by mail, YouTube or Facebook. Nothing, no more words needed. I hope you learned a little bit about copy and paste and you can think now logically about this topic. How much the trader costs? Please send me an email, Abdul, and then we can talk about that. Or question me in the Trader Spotlight. Then uh, I'll type my name in Google, Marcus Gabel. There you will find me. And then we can talk about that, of course. It's not too expensive because you are so much more important. If you have any questions, let me know. It was such a great pleasure for me. I hope you learned a little bit and I wish you a wonderful day. And I want to finish this by we now always with the same sentence. Be careful about your thoughts because they are the beginning of your actions. See you. Bye-bye.